Oh, because of the repair hammers. <laughs> Shit. Well, it's time to create some stuff again. That stupid ectoplasm? Hmm. Come on, give me a break, guys. Oh my god. Where's that stupid ectoplasm? Hmm. Um. Oh. What do you want? I'm going to sell you some stuff. Well, have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. I can get a little more for that though, that's a problem. Thank you. F You're welcome. Farewell. Indeed. Okay, where's this hotel? Hotel, hotel, hotel. Ah. Well met. Glather is acting even stranger than usual, don't you think? Sure. Farewell. Have mercy. Morning. Just uncoin. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. Who's this Glothier? I don't mean to gossip, but he is more than a bit strange. However, he's always been tolerated as the town eccentric. Okay. He's a fairy tale. The Imperial Watch pretends that it's a <laughs> I love how your voice actor changes again. Okay, I have a coin. Thank you. Now can you tell me about this cloth here? I don't mean to go Come on. I'm listening. I don't know what this stuff is. I don't know how yes. it works. Okay. Blessings of Akatosh upon you. So long. What are you talking about? Goodbye. Good morning. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. Hello. Why wow, you're tiny. Now? Glarthir is acting even stranger than usual, don't you think? Absolutely. I'm Elsie Godhater. Yes, I hate the gods, all gods. They can all bite my garters. And if you don't like it, you can bite my garters, too. Okay, what can you tell me about Glarthir? He's a raving lunatic. I'm assuming you're asking because he's done something strange. Like what? Oh, like shouting obscenities at you? Or wearing only fur for an entire year? Or waiting outside your house every morning? Not that you'll get anyone else in town to admit it. Oh, he's harmless. We're used to him. Harmless. Ha! One day he'll snap. Then watch out. He seems like a weird character indeed. Ask me what I think about chapels, praying, the Nine Divines. Go ahead. Ask me. 
What do you think? The gods don't do a damn thing. Do they even exist? How could anyone tell? Daedra lords, sure. They exist. They do things. Bad things mostly, but things you can see. The gods? They don't do a damn thing. So why do we build big chapels and sit around and mumble and ask them to save us from this and that? It's stupid. And chapels and priests and folks groveling on their knees? They're stupid too. Okay. Good, good day. Who are you? Don't be shy. Join us and do well by doing good. Oh, you're the fighter's guild? No. I will. Good you get any closer than I'll turn your bones to ash. Back off. Are you talking about. Are you fucking. I kidding? have no time for your pathetic attempts at small talk. Now walk away before I get nasty. What the hell, dude? Anytime now. Welcome to the West Wheeled Inn. I'm Irina Giranis, the proprietor. If you'd like food or a bed, speak to me. Can I interest sell? you in some of my wares? Hmm. Where where is this person that I needed to talk about for the for the okay. route? Where is he? Here, yeah. What brings you to my little home underground? So, you've brought something for me to examine. Yes, indeed. Here you go. Yes. This is a genuine Nern root sample. Very nice quality, in fact. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Since you already know what they look like, do you feel up to a bit of a collecting expedition? Sure. Not the most fun thing, but okay. Excellent. But before you go, you're going to need to learn a bit more about Nern root. Otherwise, you may walk in circles and never find any. Okay, tell me. A few years ago, an adventurer not unlike yourself sold me a musty old tome containing alchemical formulas. Most of them were worthless. But one of the moldy pages contained a recipe for a potion known as an elixir of exploration, a sort of ultimate dungeon delver's brew. The formula looked sound, except it required an extremely rare ingredient. Yes, you guessed it. The Nern Root. I put the book aside, because frankly I had so many other delicate experiments going on that I just didn't have the time to go plant hunting. Now that you're here, that changes things. Okay. The Elixir of Exploration is a multi-purpose potion that was obviously created with the Dungeon Explorer in mind. The formula describes many magnitudes of the brew. If you're interested, I wrote a short missive about it for the Imperial Alchemy Symposium. You bring me ten samples of Nernroot, and I'll make the elixir available to you at a huge discount, as well as give you one for free. The best place for you to start would be Shade Leaf Copse, which is a part of the Great Forest northeast of here. Good luck! And hurry back with more of the Nern route. All right. Northeast. You get any closer, I'll turn Fuck your you. bones to ash. Oh, this place is big. Ow. I want to explore the cursed cave. Before I do any other side quests. Aha. Where is the cursed cave? Where did I... Oh, the mine, whatever. Hello. 
What's your story? Stupid bandit. How goes it? Pretty well, actually. Somewhere here. Oh yeah, at the fire. There are humans here. Hello. Who's there? Yeah. Jump on my sword while you can. Fuck you. What's your shield? Not that good. Wow, your armor's also not that good. Whoops. Hold on. Almost finished with you. Ow! Whoa. <laughs> Give me what's in the chest. Not too good of loot, but alright. Huh? What? Huh? How does... Okay. It's a little weird. Whoa! You motherfucker! Another one? Oh my god. Oh, you died already. I'm... I'm wearing Mithril, right? Not... Not Chainmail anymore, right? Oh shit, I saw Mithril boots somewhere. I'm not wearing them, that's stupid. Are you wearing them? No. An earlier bandit had one. Shit, I need a potion. Come on. Take this. That looks like a strong motherfucker. Oh, actually, it's not all that impressive. Bingo! Me throw boots. My shield is. What's my shield? Seven. I will take me throw boots because what a chainmail? Also, two. But, you know, it's nice to have the set complete. And you can fuck off. <laughs>